Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World. And today I want to talk about a fish species called the Cory Cat. And in general, I want to talk about this main species, the Albino Cory Cat. The first thing you've noticed is these guys like to be around their own species. The Albino the Albino, the Albino Cory Cat is a really rewarding species. It's good for the beginner, and I'm an expert and I still love them. I just like their personality. I like their schooling. I like how they sit together. I like how they're easy to maintain. The albino koi cats do need a lot of oxygen in the water, and the oxygen level is low. I wish they'd do it for me because I've seen them do it about three times today, but um, sometimes they'll go up to the air and gulp a gas of air. Um, koi cats usually, this species usually gets around two inches. That one's almost fully grown, and he's just about two inches. I have seen him get a little over two inches um, in my time, but in most cases they're going to get about two inches. The koi cats should have a sandy bottom that way their barbs aren't injured. Mine have gravel and look how um, long and healthy the whiskers on my koi cats are. So you can have gravel but it's preferably uh, sand because you guys can see they're digging all over the place and uh, they need those barbs. That's like their arms and fingers for them. Um, that's what they use to dig through the substrate to find their um, their food. Now the koi cats, they come from the Amazon tributaries. Um, they come from like little streams and such tributa strip tributaries. I can't talk today. Um, they are tropical fish coming from the Amazon, so the water temperature should be anywhere from 72 to uh, 79 degrees. I really wouldn't push it into the 80s. I think it would be too high. Um, they are omnivores. They're scavengers. They're going to find anything they come across on the bottom. They are bottom-dwelling fish, so make sure they can get their food in the aquariums. You just don't want to feed the fish swimming around in the uh, upper levels of your tank. You want to make sure that these fish are getting their food. If it's from, you know, you're overfeeding and flakes and pellets fall down, or if you're putting sinking wafers in there, you want to make sure they're getting their food. Um, the smallest tank I would put them in is a 20 long. I would like to see them in a 30 gallon because the footprint's the same and it's deeper. That way you can have more fish to interact with them. But uh, since the footprint of a 20 long is the same as a 30 gallon and they're really bottom dwellers I would like to see them in a minimum of a 20 gallon long um, but that's just me to breed these fish is really easy all you really gotta do is have a male and a female and you don't want to water it lower it too low but that's what happens in nature when the uh, water temperature gets lower it triggers breeding and that's gonna um, promote breeding. Also, you want to make sure you have a relief from bright light. You want to give them some kind of cave, some kind of rocks, dense vegetation. That way they can get away from it all and just tuck away and get under the um, low light. Old Mac Cory Cats are great for beginners and experts alike. That's the Cory Cat, guys. I know the tank looks kind of disturbing right now, but I'm getting it back on track. I've been neglecting it a little bit, and uh, it's chemistry clean, but it's not clean to the eye. Comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. Check out my many other videos. I'll see you guys next time. Please hit that subscribe button. It'd be a great help. Like the video and share it. I'll see you guys next time. This is Wayne's Wayne's Fish World. Later.